So what's up guys, today we're going to be talking about New World, specifically the New Delay. So New Day, New World, New Delay is how we're going to phrase that one. Uh, this is from the spring of 2021 release that they were aiming for last year when they delayed the game. And it's now going to be releasing on August 31st, 2021, or at least for now, that's the date that we're being given. Whether it does or not, we'll have to wait and see. We're going to go over the video today that they released. It's 2 minutes 45 seconds long. They also sent a content creator email out. If there's anything that they missed in the video that is in that email, I'll tack that on at the end as well. And then we're just going to go over, over my thoughts and feelings about how New World's been going and what we can expect and all stuff like that. So yeah, let's watch this video. I'll try not to pause this too much and make this video super long. Hi there, I'm Scott Lane, Game Hi, Director Lane. New World. I'm here to talk to you about our progress, our plans, and our launch date. So last summer we communicated that New World would launch this spring and that the team was going to focus on adding more mid and end game content. Since then we've identified a few very compelling features that just wouldn't make that time frame. And we believe these features are in the game, so we're going to take the time to add them before we put New World in your hands. New World's going to launch August 31st, 2021. This gives us not only enough time to implement those features, but to essentially tune and a full them year from, from last year's experience. delay. Closed beta is going to be on July 20th, and I really hope some of you come take an early look at the game. I'd like to take a few. Also, before we continue, just to stop it again, there is going to be a EU uh, testing coming up on the 30th of March as well. So there won't just be NA servers. I'm not sure exactly why they're doing this because already currently they can't populate the server. Like they just have a one singular NA server. And one of the big detriments to their testing so far has been nobody's playing the testing. This is something that we'll probably talk about a little bit later on in the video, but just nobody's playing the testing for the game. It's been a real big problem. A few minutes and share what we're going to be working on between now and launch. First, we're adding another endgame zone, Ebon Scale. Looks pretty cool. This is a territory of lush wetlands and towering cliffs where an exiled empress is building a corrupted fleet that could be a threat to the entire world. I, I love now New World's aesthetic, features. I really do. First one I want to talk I think about the game world and everything looks fantastic. These are five player instance adventures into the darkest corners of Eternum where players are going to face the most dire threats on the island. I and hope the dungeons are really well done and not just like a singular boss including in Including secrets behind the source of the corruption, like the, the ulterior motives of the angry earth and the deeper menace behind the soul is lost. So now I'd like to tell you just a little bit about Outpost Rush. Outpost Rush is an end so game that calls players to a primordial river base well, filled with forgotten ancient technologies oh, shit. and hidden sources of the powerful and volatile Azoth. Here you're going to battle in 20 versus 20 teams over multiple strongholds, and you're going to use strategic resources not only to fortify your positions, but to boost your power for assaults. Expeditions and Outpost Rush are big features for us leading up to launch, but we've also made a lot of progress since the preview event. I'm sure some of you have played have. or I'll seen that. Rewater, they have done. an endgame zone we added. We've also added fishing, we've done a full revamp to crafting, we added hundreds and hundreds of weapons and gear pieces, we've really improved combat, and we've added a lot of quest variety. All of this is in direct response to your feedback from the preview. And let me tell you, there's a lot more to come. For those of you I who played so. in the preview event, I think you're really going to enjoy the changes and additions we've made. Getting our mid and end game right is critical to the game experience, and adding new features, it takes time. At the end of the day, shipping a high quality, polished experience is our top priority, and we plan to do just that. Okay, so there we go. I don't think anything was in the email that they missed other than the EU testing being stood up, uh, and then talking about the content creator program, which, I mean, let's be honest, who gives a fuck? So real quick, before we get into my thoughts and feelings about the overall delay in the situation of New World, I figured we should mention some of the stuff that's been changed about the game that they didn't mention within that video, because there's there's big deals here that they probably should have talked about. Um, the biggest one being they've gone definitely now in a Holy Trinity di direction. I'm not sure if there's still people clinging on to the idea that it's not going that way. But I've been calling it now for months and months. They've been going further and further into that. So far, they've changed the way that stats work, so stats are way more important. So you will be picking the stats for your role. There might be some um, leeway, I guess, for playing like a hybrid role, but we're not 100% certain on that. There are threat talents for tanking. There are anti-threat talents like threat reduction for healing. Healing is now a targeted thing. It's not like, you know, I'm going to shoot a ball and if you're stood near that ball, you'll get healed. You're actually like tabbing onto people, using your hotkeys and, and choosing to heal them. So it does look like they're going in that Holy Trinity tank healer DPS direction. 
adding dungeons makes sense that they've been going in this direction. Eventually, I assume they're going to try and add raids as well. And that's where they're going with the game. Other than that, they've added in um, different crit and crit abilities for all the different weapons. So this one crits more, this one crits less, this one crits for more damage when it does. They've added in like a an ARPG endgame, which is sort of like elite monsters that have different affixes to them. So with those elite monsters being added, that's essentially adding in a whole new layer of endgame, allowing them to use the same assets for monsters and just basically generate new content. And they've added in a bunch of like massive amount of named legendary items that will also have different affixes and stuff that you can do with those. So they've also uh, changed the way that crafting works, done a whole bunch of changes to crafting. They have as well changed how all the cities work. So cities now have unique looks to them instead of all just looking identical. They've done a lot to the game over the last year, uh, specifically over the last three months or so. They've added a bunch of stuff into the game. It's still nowhere near being done, in my opinion, and it's good that they've delayed it. So let's talk about that now. Um, I think this is only good things for the game. You can definitely be upset about this, just like you could have been upset about the other delays. We all want a new MMO to play. We all want a new game to come out. The thing is, is that if it comes out when it's bad, rarely do MMOs get another chance. If they kept updating the game and, you know, did a bunch of marketing when it got better, they could definitely claw a population back. But at that point, they've already kind of wasted the opportunity to take off and do really well and then have people not feel like they're behind and joining into servers that people are already kind of done with. It just works out for the best. They definitely should have announced a delay that was like one year from now, a year and a half from now, which eventually they've gotten to. Instead of just doing like leapfrog six months, six months, six months, anyone that follows games, anyone that plays games could have looked at this ob objectively and said this game was nowhere near ready. It wasn't six months off a of launch a year ago. And it might not even be six months off a of launch now. We will definitely see. I hope they don't delay it again. But but if we get to two months off a of launch and it still requires more content, more changes to the fundamental systems, I'm not going to mind if they delay it again. Because like I say, you get one chance to launch a game. You can make a comeback eventually, but there there is irreparable harm that is done to the, to the game if you do fuck that original one up. So hopefully this gets it to the position it needs to be in. It's six months time. I don't want to be making another video talking about New World delayed again. Please don't do this to me. I've, I've talked this topic to death at this point. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe out there. We out. Peace. Mm -hmm.